arena. There's like a catwalk style right, uh, stage right, yeah. going on. So it, there's all kinds of different stuff that we have going on. It's going to be amazing. But you can donate at the shop, smash.gg slash OC Goodwill slash shop. And, uh, you know, and that's pretty much my plug for the event. Register, donate. We'd really appreciate it. You know, even share on, on Twitter. We'll, we'll definitely put expect on me to know. do that. I'll definitely, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to uh, go to the Goodwill. <laughs> Smash.gg slash OC Goodwill. But uh, yeah, moving in, and I guess we're still opening up with early round matches, and you know, we're, we're already going. And we got Malk versus Mega. Looks like Mega, Mega's from UCI, and um, they're running out K Rule and Incineroar. Incineroar, Battle yeah, of the Heavies. Yeah, seriously, very, very heavy. We're gonna, see, we're gonna see a lot of nares from uh, Incineroar to just break out of uh, out of the pressure, being pressured. Right. Yeah, especially out of shield and just those different mm -hmm. options. Especially oh, in oh, he went really deep. Definitely. <laughs> That's not somewhere that you typically see an Incineroar just yeah. going deep off stage for the edge guard. Especially really hard to edge guard. Uh, K roll. Yeah, K roll. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <No worries>. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, you know, it's he's already neutral air is just being so potent as you were saying, just you know, right, you're, definitely. You're stuff, yeah, <laughs> stuff options, just get out. And they're going back in that neutral game. K rule just kinda looks a little oh, the oh, neutral air for yeah, the kill. Just for the kill. <laughs> why change it up if it's still working, my yeah. friend? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so they're going back to work, they're back in the neutral, playing yeah, it and feel each other out a little bit. Oh. There's the berry. Good pickup that Let's see is that enough to kill? Yeah. Oh, oh no, he's, he's gonna survive. Yeah. It's always surprising. You always think Incineroar is dead, and they just, you know, yeah, between I mean, the side special and then the up B, like, they just have just enough to get back in. Yeah, it always, you know, it always catches me by surprise because you always look at the character and it's like, well, it's the wrestling little Mac on yeah. stage, supposedly, but not always. And some Incineroars will catch you off guard when they uh, up beat you and clip you and take you, uh, the SD with you. Mm -hmm. and that's always a, oh. Well, I went a little too deep that yeah, time, but, too, but that was a good trade. Yeah. yeah, definitely worth it. They took the stock. Here they go. Oh, oh he got him off stage. That's uh, Incineroar is going to be able to be, get back. He, he bounced off the wall. Yeah. It's one of those weird situations. I wonder if he teched. He probably would not have been able to get back far enough, but because right. he bounced off the wall, he was right it there to recover. Him, yeah. Unless you're teching holding up, you can get that jump out of, yeah. the, uh, out of the wall animation. Yeah, let's so see far. Like edge guard here. Yeah, let's see. He's not, uh, you know, oh. K. Rule, uh, May, or uh, Malchus has kind of had a difficult time, not really able to get the K roll shenanigans up, you know, between the right. crowd coming out and. Sonoro is definitely keeping the distance really close and not letting uh, K roll get his uh, his projectiles out. Right, and that's, people out. that's definitely a recipe for disaster and a, pretty, right. a big reason as to why, you know, Sonoro is looking like he's in the lead. Mega about to take it. Oh, it's pretty close. And spot touch uh, jab to get him off. And at this point, you know, it's, I would say, anything's going to kill. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. As a back air, back throw, Nair. any, any, anything, yeah, Nair yeah. again, something like that. Which will be. Yeah. That's a good pickup overall from there. Mega taking the taking game one lead. Let's see, let's see what adjustments you know uh, Malk is able to make because right. we looked into that match. And as Carol, you're trying to get set up and get your projectiles out, get the crown out, get the cannons yeah, out, definitely. and really just make your opponent kind of. You either want your opponent to jump so that you can uh, catch them airborne, or uh, catch them in shield and just punish them or break their shield possibly if you could. Right, and he wasn't able to do that. So maybe, maybe pick a bigger stage and just kind of. Oh, he went right back to it. You know, okay. I, I always respect that as a as a player. Sometimes they feel maybe it's not the uh, character or the stage that's the problem. It's me. I got to change right, up my plan. Definitely, definitely. So they go right back and well, maybe he's not. He's, he's kind of hovering around different characters. Maybe he's he is thinking it's it. the character. Yeah, maybe possibly. <laughs> he's hovering over Shulk. Uh, Do you know what other character he plays? I, I have no idea. No, if he, okay. And he's hovering over Shulk, which would be pretty wild because right. Shulk is a character that's very... You either main the character or you don't play the character. Right, right, right. A lot of people don't have that knowledge matchup. <laughs> right. Uh, he went right back to K-Raw. All right. Okay, okay. got to throw what you know, stick to the plan. Definitely so he's going gonna, gonna, to you know, try to change it up just a little bit, he's see if he gets set up. Distance, maybe? Let's see here. Easier no. said than know, though, because Mega's playing like that, you know, that Russian. He's already putting on 36 damage and... It's just Malk just kind of looks a little bit overwhelmed, not sure what to do. So K. Roar here is trying to keep center stage, trying to wall out in center roar. Oh, the yeah. belly taking the hit. Yeah, that armor coming into yeah. play. Ooh, good good uh, get off me option right there. Trying to punish the uh, whiff back air by K. Roar. Oh, great uh, he parry. parried it. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if that's that's one of those kind of false parries. So there are some parries where right. the actual parry went, you know, parry hurt box. I don't know what the term is for it. Mm. It extends out further than the shield. So there are right. things that you would parry that would never hit your shield in the first place. Right. <laughs>
kind of a situation. I believe uh, Gimmer made a video about that, right? Yeah, about recently, the parry shifting, yeah. Right. It's a great video. Yeah, the video game scientist Gimmer uh, yeah. <laughs> makes himself Shout known yet again in the metagame. It's a thing. <laughs> so Incineroar here doing a great job of keeping uh, K. Rool out, making him work to get center stage. Oh, great up air. Yeah, as you said, just, up. you know, uh, made him get get, uh, get above him, and an up air just sealed it out. Nice and easy, clockwork, mm -hmm. sticking in the plan, and, you know, it's almost like Malk. I feel like Malk kind of knows what he needs to be doing. He just hasn't right. really stayed, you know, stuck with it and got and made it happen. You see the crowd go, Ooh. oh, my God, he's going deep. But something I like <laughs> that Incineroar is doing is that he's definitely making uh, K. Rool come to him instead of mm. trying to... Uh, Trying to just get that damage in instead, which is really smart. That's what you want to do when you got the lead. You want to make sure they come to you so that uh, they work for their percentage. But I mean, you can always whiff punish them. I agree. No, no easy punishes, right? If yeah. you uh, try to get over aggressive, that's when you leave yourself open to getting those hits and all those whiff punishes that you would never have had happen if you just didn't hit a button and just like you know right. and just chilled there for a little bit. And speaking of chilling, he's already rolling through and. Putting on big damage and starting to run away with it. This is a situation where K Roll's got to come up with a kill pretty quick. Oh, that should do it. Oh, oh. he didn't smash attack. Yeah, surprised he didn't do smash attack. Up, oh, cleaned it up with that down here. Yeah, cover that out, uh, especially probably. You know, I, I imagine Mega meant to grab the ledge there instead right. of going on the stage. And you know, we take those. Yeah, definitely. There we go. Now we see more projectile play by uh, K. Rool. Definitely getting more distance now. Oh, and he threw out the revenge, so something to keep an eye on. Just the, uh, you know, it's uh, scary. You do not want to get hit by uh, the Cinderella's revenge. And maybe that's why he was being tentative with the projectiles. Right. He's no, probably conscious right. of the fact that the you know revenge could come into play. And mm -hmm. if they know a hitbox is coming, it's just like, oh, here. Any command revenge. grab, right. he's done for. <laughs> Especially at 152 percent. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna live. So there we go, uh, K. Roll just playing evasive. Malk doing everything he can. Has an Incineroar in a good position. Oh, oh there's a grab, and that it. not quite enough to kill them. Yeah, good DI. Oh, yeah, but that Nair, he's definitely going to live that. <laughs> he went in deep, drop zone Nair, and, you know, all things being said, as much as it seems like Mega's been in control of the of the match overall, he's, you know, he's not too far out of it, although putting in big damage as I, as I talk about it. Right, but I definitely feel like K. Rool is definitely playing a lot better than he was in the first game. He definitely adapted a little bit quicker. He's keeping his distance. He's trying to uh, wall out Incineroar and make him work to uh, get center stage. Yeah, just unfortunate for uh, Malk that Mega's put up 90 damage unanswered and yeah. the damage is still coming. Command, Command grab. grab. Yep. Like the old school Street Fighter style crossover. <laughs> He's back on stage and he's on his last Dude. gas. It's oh. probably the set. Yeah, yeah enough to kill. Definitely. There he goes. Especially uh, with the platform assist. It, it, right. Yeah, definitely just helping. All right, good wow. gameplay by Mega. Just punching in, punching out, and giving Malk just uh, all the trouble that he could handle and more so. And he moves on into winners, Malk dropping into losers. But overall, just, you know, solid play, especially on Incineroar's part. Not a character we see too often on the stream. Right, definitely. By definitely. Large. Yeah. I'm surprised uh, you, know, you noticed that he was going to go Shulk. Or you're hovered over Shulk. Who knows how that matchup would have gone. Uh, I feel like Shulk can definitely put the pressure and apply the pressure on Incineroar since Incineroar